Yes, I did listen to your entire podcast. You didn't mention Caitlin Clark. So I was right, number one. Number two, your personal relationship, what that got to do with your coverage? Ain't nobody said don't mention them. Ain't nobody said don't applaud them. Nobody told you to ignore them. The controversy around Cheryl Swoops and her comments about Caitlin Clark just hit a whole new level. Racism accusations, personal attacks, and claims of jealousy are flooding the conversation, making us all wonder, has one of the WNBA's greatest legends tarnished her legacy for good? Stay tuned, because we're diving deep into the latest explosive developments in the Swoops Clark saga. And trust me, this is far from over. The fallout from Cheryl Swoops' comments has been nothing short of explosive. What started with her defense of Diamond to Shield's controversial play has escalated into something far bigger, accusations of racism. After tweeting, black people can't be racist. So for people to come at me and say that I made those comments because I'm a racist, like first of all, black people can't be racist. Um, I have like no issues with Caitlyn. Swoops faced immediate backlash and it's only intensified since. Many WNBA fans and commentators are calling out her remarks as ignorant, with some going as far as labeling them idiotic. Yeah, that'll go in the record books as Caitlin Clark is the all-time, whatever it is. I don't even know what the number is, but that's the way it'll be. And, and I don't think it should be. These accusations have sparked a wider conversation about racial double standards in the WNBA. And it's clear that many see Swoops' stance as damaging. One common response across social media, disbelief. Fans are expressing that they expected more from a figure like Swoops, someone who paved the way for so many black athletes in the league. But now, instead of fostering unity, she's accused of dividing it further with statements that are, frankly, out of touch. This isn't just for Caitlyn, but you asked me about Caitlyn. If you're going to break a record, to me, if it's legitimate, you have to break that record in the same amount of time. That this isn't the first time race has become a talking point in the WNBA. But Swoop's involvement has brought the conversation to a boiling point. Many are asking, is this an issue of personal bias or is something bigger at play? Either way, Swoop's legacy as a WNBA pioneer is now clouded by her controversial remarks. It doesn't stop there. For many fans, this controversy isn't just about race, it's about jealousy. The sentiment that Swoops is envious of Caitlin Clark's rise to fame has only grown stronger in recent weeks. Swoops, once the face of the WNBA, now seems overshadowed by a new generation of talent, and Caitlin Clark is right at the center of it all. Let's not forget, Swoops had previously questioned Clark's ability to succeed in the WNBA, even predicting that Angel Reese would outshine her at the professional level. But with Clark continuing to break records and dominate in her rookie season, those comments look more and more like they were driven by envy rather than genuine analysis. Fans are vocal about this, with many arguing that Swoops is struggling to accept Clark's success and the attention she brings to the league. Some have even suggested that Swoops is tarnishing her own legacy with this pettiness, turning herself into a bitter figure rather than celebrating the WNBA's growth through players like Clark. As this drama unfolds, the personal attacks against Swoops have become more brutal. Criticism isn't just aimed at her controversial comments anymore. Fans are going after her looks, intelligence, and even her contributions to the WNBA. Some have gone so far as to say that her legacy is irreparably damaged. It's not just about one or two bad takes. People are questioning whether Swoops, once a hero to so many, has lost her relevance entirely. Comments like, she's just bitter and washed up, have become all too common in online spaces, showing just how deep the disdain runs for her recent actions. While it's one thing to critique someone's opinion, it's another to attack them personally. But it seems that for many, Cheryl Swoops has crossed too many lines, and her once untouchable reputation is now hanging by a thread. Meanwhile, Caitlin Clark continues to be a beacon of hope and change in the WNBA. Fans haven't forgotten what Clark is doing for the league, bringing in a new wave of interest, breaking records, improving herself as one of the most transformational figures in women's sports today. The support for Clark has only grown stronger in the wake of this controversy. Fans aren't just defending her abilities on the court, they're standing up for what she represents. Clark is more than just a talented player. She's a symbol of the future of women's basketball, and many are rallying behind her, 
seeing her as the next big thing to bring the WNBA into the mainstream. Clark's ability to rise above the drama and focus on her game is also drawing praise. While Swoops' criticism has been loud and constant, Clark remains focused on leading her team, breaking records, and setting new standards for what's possible in the league. This controversy has done more than just ignite debates online. It's bringing attention to the WNBA on a much larger scale. We've seen this before in sports history. Drama, rivalries, and heated debates often fuel viewership. Think about the Bird versus Magic rivalry in the NBA. It wasn't just about two players. It was about two different narratives clashing, and it ultimately elevated the entire league. The same could be happening here. The tension between Cheryl Swoops and Caitlin Clark, despite its negativity, has brought the WNBA to the forefront of conversations. Whether it's people tuning in to see Clark's next game, or fans arguing about Swoops' comments on social media, the league is gaining traction. And let's not forget the role of the media, particularly ESPN. Stephen A. Smith, never one to shy away from controversy, has been quick to defend Caitlin Clark, calling out Swoops for her biased remarks. Yes, I did listen to your entire podcast. You didn't mention Caitlin Clark. So I was right, number one. Number two, your personal relationship, what that got to do with your coverage? Ain't nobody said don't mention them. Ain't nobody said don't applaud them. Nobody told you to ignore them. Smith's involvement in ESPN's coverage of this drama have only intensified the spotlight on the WNBA, further amplifying the Caitlin Clark effect. So what's next? Will Cheryl Swoops continue to double down on her controversial views, further tarnishing her legacy? Or will the growing support for Caitlin Clark finally push the WNBA to new heights? leaving swoops behind as the league's past while Clark forges its future? One thing's for sure. This story is far from over, and we'll be watching every moment as it unfolds. How much more experience that gives you over other players coming in, right? So people say, dang, like he or she's killing them, but you have a 25-year-old playing against a 20-year-old. Mm -hmm. Like, you, sh you should be killing them. Yeah because you've been doing it a lot longer than they have. Clark right now probably takes about 40 shots a game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> Cheryl Swoops has been stirring up controversy in the WNBA, particularly with her critical comments about rising superstar Caitlin Clark. This season, Swoops has made no secret of her jealousy, but her latest actions have taken things to a whole new level. ESPN, the network that's been closely following Caitlin Clark's meteoric rise, has highlighted her impact on the WNBA numerous times, making Swoop's criticism even more surprising. Diamond DeShields recently made headlines in WNBA news for an aggressive play against Caitlin Clark, sparking intense debate among WNBA fans. Imagine this. DeShields intercepts Clark at half court during a key Indiana Fever game, not with just any foul, but with a clear, frustration-driven play. The fallout from this incident was immediate, with WNBA analysts and fans calling it out as a dirty play. Against Caitlin Clark, it wasn't okay. It was a flagrant foul. Yeah. Igniting a firestorm of controversy. The aftermath of Diamond DeShields' actions didn't stop at just criticism. DeShields faced a barrage of backlash, including receiving racist threats. Uh, Diamond DeShields received racist threats after Caitlin Clark flagrant, flagrant foul. Which highlighted ongoing issues within the WNBA community. But amid this storm, Cheryl Swoops stood out as a vocal supporter of DeShields, continuing her narrative against Caitlin Clark. Swoops tweeted, Head up, kid. Hate will not win. You are covered, and there's nothing these evil people can do about that. All love for you. This tweet, while supportive of DeShields, had significant consequences for Swoops, leading to her removal from the WNBA broadcast team for the highly anticipated Fever vs. Dallas Wings game a pivotal WNBA matchup. When questioned by WNBA fans who were eager to hear her commentary, Swoops didn't hold back, responding with the now famous phrase, not today, Satan. But let's be honest, supporting WNBA players who engage in potentially dangerous, career-threatening actions isn't a good look for a WNBA legend like Swoops. This incident isn't isolated, it's just the latest in a series of actions that suggests jealousy and resentment towards Caitlin Clark, one of the most talked about players in women's basketball today. 
Stephen A. Smith, a well-known sports commentator frequently featured on ESPN, has consistently defended Caitlin Clark, and this time was no different. Smith didn't hesitate to call out Cheryl Swoops for her biased and baseless criticism of Clark. Cheryl Swoops. No, 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 Caitlin, no Caitlin Clark. Respectfully, Cheryl Swoops, you have any idea how that makes you look? You have any idea how that serves to stain any kind of critique of Caitlin Clark? The Caitlin Clark effect isn't just a buzzword. It's a real phenomenon in women's basketball, driving WNBA viewership and attendance to new heights. Caitlin Clark is redefining the game every time she steps onto the court, breaking WNBA records and setting new standards for what's possible in women's sports. But with greatness comes envy, and Swoops' actions seem to reflect the challenges that come with being a trailblazer like Caitlin Clark. The tension between Cheryl Swoops and Caitlin Clark goes back to Clark's college basketball days. Swoops openly questioned whether Clark's skills would translate to the WNBA, even suggesting that Angel Reese's game was better suited for professional play. Swoops confidently predicted that Clark wouldn't dominate the WNBA immediately. Like, nah, it's not gonna be that easy. So will Caitlin Clark be a good pro? Absolutely. Will Caitlin Clark come into the WNBA and do what she's doing right now? Immediately? Absolutely not. Not gonna happen. Okay. But as we've seen, Caitlin Clark has exceeded all expectations, proving her doubters wrong at every turn. But Swoops didn't stop at questioning Clark's abilities. She also criticized Clark's NCRA scoring record, dismissing it as a result of volume shooting rather than skill. Going to break a record, to me, if it's legitimate, you have to break that record in the same amount of time that that player set it. Okay. So if, if Kelsey Plum set that record in four years, mm -hmm. well, Caitlin should have broke that record in four years. But because there's a COVID year, then there's another year, you know what I mean? So she's already had an extra year to break that record. So is it truly a broken record? Yeah, that'll go in the record books as Caitlin Clark is the all time, whatever it is. I don't even know what the number is, but that's the way it'll be. And, and I don't think it should be. However, Swoops got several key facts wrong. She claimed that Caitlin Clark took advantage of an extra year of eligibility due to COVID-19, playing five years of college basketball. In reality, Clark played the standard four years, just like Kelsey Plum, the previous record holder. What's more, Caitlin broke the record in fewer games, showing that it wasn't just about taking more shots, but making them count. Swoops also exaggerated by stating that Caitlin Clark takes 40 shots per game, when in truth, Clark's average is closer to 19 shots per game. And perhaps the most glaring mistake, Swoops claimed that Caitlin is 25 years old when she's actually just 22. How much more experience that gives you over other players coming in, right? So people say, dang, like he or she's killing them. But you have a 25-year-old playing against a 20-year-old. Mm -hmm. Like, you, sh you should be killing them. Because yeah. you've been doing it a lot longer than they have. Clark right now probably takes about 40 shots a game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> These inaccuracies have led many WNBA fans and analysts to question whether Swoops' criticism is based on facts or personal bias. What Cheryl Swoops fails to acknowledge is the monumental impact Caitlin Clark is having on women's basketball and the WNBA as a whole. Caitlin Clark is bringing more attention to the WNBA than ever before, inspiring a new generation of young female athletes and drawing in a wider audience to the league. Instead of uplifting the next generation of WNBA players, Swoops seems intent on undermining their success. But this isn't just about Caitlin. It's about the future of the WNBA. Supporting Caitlin Clark means supporting the growth and evolution of women's basketball. Despite the backlash, Cheryl Swoops eventually issued an apology, though many found it less than sincere. She defensively stated that black people can't be racist, a comment that did little to mend the situation. I'm gonna say this, and then I wanna like be done with this whole conversation. So for people to come at me and say that I made those comments because I'm a racist, like first of all, black people can't be racist. Meanwhile, Caitlin Clark continues to break records in her rookie WNBA season, solidifying her place in the history of the WNBA. 
From holding the WNBA single game assist record to becoming the youngest player to achieve consecutive double doubles in points and assists, Caitlin's accomplishments are rewriting the WNBA record books. Yet Cheryl Swoops seems determined to ignore these achievements. It's becoming clear that this isn't just a case of casual criticism. It's starting to look like a personal vendetta and people are taking notice. Even Stephen A. Smith, known for his outspoken views on ESPN, couldn't stay silent. He publicly criticized Swoops for her blatant bias against Clark. Clark and the Fever currently lead the WNBA in average game attendance and per game TV viewership. But despite the attendance and viewership records, there seems to be some haterade in the league in regards to Clark starting with WNBA legend Cheryl Swoops herself. The statistics don't lie. Caitlin Clark is leading the Indiana Fever to new heights, with the team boasting the highest average game attendance and TV viewership in the WNBA. And yet, Swoops refuses to give Caitlin the credit she deserves. Instead, Cheryl Swoops continues to praise other Fever players like Lexi Hall, Kelsey Mitchell, and Aaliyah Boston, while conspicuously leaving Caitlin Clark out of the conversation. This Indiana team, I'm gonna say shout out to Lexi Hall. I'm a big Lexi Hall fan. Absolutely. Watch her in AU. Lexi Hall shot the leather off the ball in their game against Seattle and just couldn't miss. Kelsey Mitchell is just broken. She is just shooting the basketball. Aaliyah Boston, almost a triple-double. This omission is becoming increasingly difficult for WNBA fans to ignore, especially as Caitlin continues to set new records and drive the success of the Indiana Fever. Swoops' refusal to acknowledge Clark's contributions is not only petty, but also damaging to her own reputation as a WNBA legend. And the criticism doesn't end there. Swoops went as far as to suggest that Caitlin's success is due to having better teammates at the Fever compared to Angel Reese's situation at the Chicago Sky. With Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese locked in a tight race for WNBA Rookie of the Year, Swoops' dismissal of Clark's talent is almost laughable. So, what's next in this unfolding drama? As Caitlin Clark continues to rise in the WNBA, will the league and its legends like Cheryl Swoops finally give her the recognition she deserves? Or will a shadow of jealousy continue to loom over her achievements? One thing is certain, this story is far from over.